Hello everybody, I'm Cody. And I'm Chantal. Welcome to Unit 6, Employee Privacy. So the article today goes over the current coronavirus situation uh, and regards to employee privacy uh, as well as their health and safety. Mm. Uh, many companies are facing a very difficult conundrum of considering their employees health and safety while uh, someone might be exposed to coronavirus. Mm. Conundrum. Conundrum. As well as keeping that person's privacy, mm -hmm. if they have it or not, mm -hmm. if they should share that to other coworkers or to the staff. Uh, so that's a very big issue for mm -hmm. them right now. Uh, and if they take any action to penalize or fire ultimately this employee, uh, that could backfire. 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 So that leads to a very interesting question. I think most of us do, but I want to ask you. Okay. Do you discuss your weekend plans or weekend activities with your coworkers? Uh, with some of them, yes. Mm -hmm. I have become closer with some of my coworkers. So with them, I would obviously because yeah. we do things together. We often yeah. go out together or we'll have dinner together. Right. But obviously not with everybody. <laughs> some people yes. I do not want to tell. <laughs> right. <laughs> And probably not because you don't trust them, no, but it's just, just because it's private, right? Yeah, that's it. Exactly. What about you? Um, I do share it with most uh, with you and some others that I'm mm. close to. Uh, I don't mind sharing. Yeah. Uh, everybody knows I love to run. I'm always out and I'm active. Yeah, we know. <laughs> uh, so that's no secret. But right. um, I. I don't always share every detail. It's not that I'm hiding something. It's just right. my own privacy, my own personal life. Nothing to hide, but it's, right. we also don't need to share everything, right? Right. Yeah. Um, and I tend to ask uh, other coworkers and even other people at the job yeah. what they do. You know, how was their weekend? These right. typical, you know, small talk. And sometimes people want to, you know, cut loose in a different way. Mm. Like some people want to go clubbing, or some people go running. Cut loose. Cut loose. You mentioned you know cutting loose and uh, you know enjoying yourself. So what do you usually do on your days off? Um, okay, nowadays mm -hmm. I am not doing too much of the cutting loose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, generally, I'd meet friends. We'd okay. go out for dinner. Uh, my friends and I love wine, so we'd mm -hmm. go for a glass of wine somewhere. Or, yeah, I go exploring an old area, okay. or reading, etc. Yeah. yeah, and you? Uh, well, running. <laughs> I already said it. We know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, that's my passion. It uh, is. I love being outside <laughs> and the weather shifting to the fall. Oh, I just want to be outside. It's lovely. Enjoy nature. Yeah. Um, but generally, I do that on my days off or you know, spending time with my girlfriend. It's definitely a major obligation, but also an enjoyment in my life. <laughs> Yeah, it's not an obligation. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's mostly what I do. But I think some people might throw caution to the wind in this coronavirus situation and just go and travel or do something outside the city around people, but put themselves at risk. Right. Throw caution to the wind. Throw caution to the wind. And now onto the language focus. For the first one, it's it's understandable that. So for example, in the coronavirus situation, it's understandable that you want to avoid people without a mask. Mm. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the next one is neither of which. For example, I know two languages, neither of which is as difficult as Korean. Mm. True story. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's it for the preview, and we hope to see you on the review section.